How's it going everyone? My name is Fordiva. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to improve your audio quality through Audacity. I did this video a couple of years ago, but since then a few things have changed in the program. So what we're going to do is we're going to redo it today and I'm going to show you where everything is because they moved a couple of things around. So obviously you want to have Audacity installed in your computer. If you don't, I'll leave a link in the description to the website where you get it. Once you have it installed and make sure it picks up your microphone, you're ready to start recording. When you first record, press the record button up here leave five or so seconds of silence so that you can pick up the background noise and then you're able to get rid of that throughout the whole clip. So I'm gonna show you that now. This is an audio test for Audacity. As you can see, I left all this here and I'm gonna let you hear really quick what the actual audio here sounds like before we make any adjustments to it. This is an audio test for Audacity. So you see, it sounds quite rough. It doesn't sound as nice as it can be. So we're gonna fix that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come up to the empty part where there's no audio and you wanna highlight all this. And then you go to effect, noise reduction and get the noise profile. Then you left click here or hit control A on your keyboard because it does the same thing. You go up to effect, you come down to noise reduction again, but this time you hit okay and it removes the background noise from the track. The next thing you do is, while this is all still highlighted, you go to Effect, Normalize, and OK, and it does it there. Now, quick note, because this is a very short clip, it's gonna do it faster. If you have a longer clip, like a full gameplay commentary, it could take a little bit longer to do it, so you have to just remember that. So once you have your Normalize done, you go over here to Effect again, and this time you go to Compressor. And these are the settings I've stuck with since the last video as well, and I find that they're the best. Threshold, minus 18, Noise 4, minus 40, Ratio 2 to 1, Attack Time, 0 0.20, Release Time, 1. Make sure both of these are unchecked, and hit OK. And this is where things are different. We used to go back up to effect and go to what was known as equalization. Equalization is not there anymore. It's split into two options, filter curve and graphic equalizer. We're going to use filter curve because it's basically the one we used before. So you can now do manage, factory presets and bass boost. And you see then it applies the curve of the bass here. You hit OK and it applies it there. Then you go back up to effect, go to filter curve again, go to manage, factory presets and this time treble boost. And hit OK, and you see it increases the treble. Then you go back to effect, go to normalize once again, and hit OK. Does it there. Then you go back to effect. At this time, we go down to limiter, go to hard limit for the type, and just leave these as they are, and hit OK. One last time, go back up and normalize it, and that's it, you're finished. So you heard the before, and this is the after. This is an audio test for Audacity. You see, it sounds more crisp, it sounds clearer, has a deeper tone, just overall sounds much better. So that is how you improve your audio quality in Audacity. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, leave a like on it because it really helps me out with people finding the channel for the first time. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified if and when I upload. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.